Praise the Lord. Had to take a quick mental break. Take a break from that screen and just take a quick ride. Hmm. It's one of them days, y'all. I'm fighting. Oof. My mind trying to attack me. My thoughts trying to attack me and not back me. <laughs> so I said, man, let me take a mental break. You deserve a break today before you go crazy. <laughs> Some y'all already crazy, just in denial. And I'm not talking about the river that runs through Egypt. A lot of people are in denial. Drowning. Deep in their own mentality and selfishness and anger and foolishness. You know, one time our father. It only took one time. It took our father one time to show me an action. I think I was in my late 30s. And he showed me myself in action. Lights, camera. God, our Father, he showed me myself in action for a whole day. Oof, I was so ashamed. I cried like a hungry baby, for real. I cried. To see myself in carnal action, inaction, overreaction, foolish actions, man, it was deep as I leave this alone. So that changed me the first time. Then my mom was found dead. December 16, 2011. That changed me the second time. Then my baby brother was found dead November 2nd, 2012. That changed me the third time. Then my oldest brother dropped dead on Christmas Eve, 51 years old. Raphael. Her I was 43. That changed me again. You know. And May 24th, 1990, I lost my first child. That changed me, little girl. Then I lost my next child, February 27th, 1999. Oof, that changed me. My grandfather killed himself on Father's Day, June 17th, 1997. That changed me. <laughs> my dad died in my arms September 16th. Ooh, taxpayer dollars for these streets. Uh, September 16th, 2000. 63 years old, two days for his 64th birthday. That changed me. And here I am again. Still begging and praying for change, y'all. Hmm. As I leave this alone. So I thought I would take a quick mental break and ride. This is the back way back to the house. So as you know, I'm going to take a quick ride and just try to encourage somebody and inspire somebody. Y'all better know how to talk to yourself. Ephesians 5 and 19 says, <laughs> speaking to oneself or speaking to somebody else, before you talk to anybody or try to encourage and inspire someone or anyone, you better know how to talk to yourself. So let me get back to the old Ponderosa, log back in, do some work, and try to encourage and try to be inspired while I'm fighting my own mind. You better fight your mind too. Don't let your mind tell you what to do. <laughs> tell your mind what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. Peace.